So welcome back to Boa Fold and uh, welcome to this special episode, episode number three of One More Cup of Coffee. This is the first time it, it's actually rhymed. I've not turned you on, that's why you... Uh, uh, mine's over there, that's why. Right. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Uh, and Steve Wood's here as well as Swampy, which is nice for everyone involved. Swamp, uh, Steve, would you like to put on a headset? Huh? Okay. So then, gentlemen, you, have you just uh, managed to interview? I don't. Well, I, I, you, you got an interview out of him? Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. How, how, what's the main talking points then from the interview? E- there we go. <laughs> Incisive. He's a lot happier than he was on Saturday, put it this way. Remember, we're filming. Don't have that face. Um, <laughs> as he was saying, you know, when, when we actually got a bit of football playing... Yeah, actually did make two or three chances, and uh, they defended for the life and defended really well. I think we made it easy for him personally, but um, you know, he's 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 up here really than he was on Saturday. Yeah, I, I mean you've got you, you know it's it, it's difficult to with another draw and a nil nil to say yeah he's delighted and, he, and you know because I, I think he'd, he'd be a liar if he said, if he said that and he, and he hasn't said that. Um, I just I just made the point that you know maybe the first half. It was two long ball teams and probably made it a bit easy for them to defend. I mean, we discussed at half-time the fact that perhaps what was going on, and Brian suggested this, was that they were marking Callum Byrne out the game and Dean Starr out the game, and we didn't have any width at all to combat that other than going route one. Probably, yeah. I think we have to be pretty honest and, and, and blunt. Uh, it was a poor performance from both teams. It was it was a lacklustre game. There was a little bit of football played, but you could count that in in, in eight minutes of ninety five. It w- there wasn't a great deal of quality on there. Callum Byrne, as you rightly say, that, but if if you've got quality like Callum and you've got a player on you all the time, well, you either go forward got, or back. Got, don't you've you? got well, we, we 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 were saying at half time. We were talking uh, three of us at half time. The problem with Callum's game is he isn't he hasn't got pace. He's a footballer. He can play. He can see a pass. We haven't got a lot of pace through the middle of the pitch, um, and the one surprise for me for tonight's game, which I was I was quite shocked at, is we didn't make a third change and bring Connor Bauer on. You talk about okay, I I, I agree with to that. To get some so pace I, I, on that pitch, but if, if we, we know he hasn't got the great deal of pace, yeah, but we know he's good on the ball, yeah. And when you have got someone in the middle of the park who's got the quality to get on the ball, you've got to distribute that ball out wide to the two players. To get bombed down, and what we didn't do tonight, we didn't use we didn't use the width of the game. It was a mm. very it was a very narrow game. Yet yeah, the introduction of uh, Greg Daniels spurred us on a little bit. A little but bit it, yeah. it, it yeah. was it was lacklustre. I mean, you yeah. know, I mean, we've now drawn six and won two. Um, we haven't hit the ground yet, you know. And as long as we keep pace with the other teams that are in around us and above us, that's okay. But I think, I mean, the performance on. Uh, Saturday, talking to Darren as we did, they were very disappointed at that performance. Well, uh, on Saturday, mind you, uh, Carl said it was, it was akin to a testimonial game on Saturday for both teams. You see, he he said um, that the first half was like a testimonial, and I would argue that actually the first half against Marine we looked quite lively and looked like we were going to score a few times. Well, I, mean, and I, I, I think di- it went downhill from there. On, to a, be honest. on a different day, um, Matty Wolfen would have scored two in the yeah, first half. Yeah, yeah, and Fowler, yeah. The, 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 yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, number Fowler would have scored two as absolutely, well. Absolutely, yeah. PA but announcer's but, leaving, by the but way. But I, I do good, goodbye, PA. He's not just. He's more than the PA announcer. He does something in the program as well. Goodness gracious, he's the man that interviews the greats. He's not got into me yet. Exactly. And there you are. Come on, I'll just set him up for you. I, I think. I, I, the one thing you determined to get on this camera. I, well, aren't you? The, the one, the one thing you've got to look at this game don't is blame you. fans come week in, week out, regardless of watching FC United. But there has to be some form of entertainment. Oh, I agree. I and agree. the first half, as you say, it was like watching two Wimbledon teams, 1980 yeah. ball high in the air. In fact, uh, Russell, uh, a few years ago, as everyone else tells me, um, would have been happy with that performance in the first 45 minutes. I disagree with that completely because I think Russell have got a bit of quality about them, um, and this season it's going to be totally different in, in that regard. Uh, not saying they won't have any quality. Get just to the point. The fact that <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just thought what we lacked, what what we're lacking at the moment is there's no flair on that pitch. There's, there's no spark. There's no yeah. spark. There's yeah. no real great quality. There is in moments of the game, hmm. and when we put off put foot on the ball and we pass it two and three and four passes, we can undo teams. And for me, I've said it. I keep saying it again. It's a game of opinions. You get down the byline and you don't then cut in. 
and give the ball in 20 yards in from the corner flag. You get to the byline and put the ball there in. Was a point we to saw the two there, though. We saw two. The ball by Daniels. He got right to the byline and whipped the ball mm. in. And Matty Warwin near who scores at the back post. Well, Maddie just called that save as absolutely world class. It was, how he's got his well, he's, done, he's done two world class saves. Yeah, he's won the first yeah. half as well. Yeah. Um, it's all credit to him. Um, we had a tweet in, and as you're a yeah, member of the forecast? scouting network, um, he's asked, Ian asked, are teams coming here to draw, or are teams coming to play FC to draw? Is that what? Well, this is another interesting point because we were talking about this at half time that. Playing at Balfold at the moment, for me, I don't. Know, it seems like we're playing on a neutral venue. It doesn't feel like a whole. We, we used to play at Giggle. I know we played here the odd game every now and then. I always said, obviously, teams come to Gig Lane and they're playing above the cells because they're playing at Gig Lane and playing yeah, against yeah, FC yeah. I, 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 I then sure. thought that playing here was going to be a bit more of a leveller in that in that sense. It hasn't worked out that way, and we are seem to be struggling. I think we're struggling to play here at the moment. I don't know why. What it is? I well, don't there shouldn't be. There shouldn't be any reason to, for, for us to struggle. We've had some great games here. We've got you know eight over eight, nearly nineteen hundred people have come to yeah, watch no, it tonight I, again. I just think, I just think may, maybe even the players have got an eye on on, on a well, ground. Bright, I don't know. I mean, I, so, so to answer your question, I mean, teams. To be honest with you, we we, we always get that. Teams, of course, teams come to get, to get a draw. Any team comes to play FC United. Uh, Whatever we are call they our home, are, are they they're happy to get a point. Are they changing their game though to to suit FC, or are we? Well, Ben, what you do is if you go out scouting and yes. you do a match report, I was I was doing one last night. You look at the opposition. You Didn't see tell how they, me. you see see how they set up. Um, it was a ground that you won't go to. So anyway, well, just a bit far. Uh, Keep going. We, we, should, we should have had somebody there last night. I was there. No, no, we, yeah, we, 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 well, I, I was spoke to, Dar- uh, to 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 Brownie, and uh, so that's why. Keep I, going. Um, well, I think I've lost exactly, this is the problem, you see, scouting. scouting. How does scouting work? If you go and do a match report on a team, you know, they, they, they're not, they, they're gonna, you're going to set yourself, your stall out ordinarily according to the way that a certain team play. Um, and I think they've, they've looked at FC United two or three times, they've seen the way we start the season, so they're compacted in the midfield, they've got close on Callum Byrne, and they will be happy in the first 45 minutes, because basically mm. they're, they're going in, it's nil-nil, and they've done their job. I think from a, from a, a neutral perspective, and from maybe their manager's perspective, the second half performance for them I thought was quite poor, they never really tested FC United, they never got behind them, and they've got the capabilities because they've got some good players, but it was just a game of, not even cat and mouse, I thought the second half was just a game of a bit of poor quality from both teams, on occasions, FC United having some good delivery, and then you know could have scored towards the back end. They defended well. Well, that's what defenders do. You know, mm. the balls are in for them. The thing is, the balls are in that they can defend. If you put a better ball in, you saying. can't defend in it. In that first, half, yeah, I mean, you might just give them all the credit for the defending, but like, we made it easy for them in that first half. Yeah, because knocking the ball like we did, we were. Wait, so I don't it's mind. Like said at our time, the six, the six foot odd at the back. I don't mind a long ball. If it's in a channel for your wingers to get onto, if it's a long ball down the middle where they you got play, two six foot defenders, you, it's you not, play the percentage away. ball Correct. out of the wing. Correct. And the one thing as well is we, 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 we go we've gone too narrow, hmm. but we've got we've got to do better with our delivery. And as I say, we nearly score at the end because we get to the byline and we put the ball in. But that's been the story of the season so far. The the, the delivery into the box hasn't it? I think uh, we've been very reliant on uh, the delivery and quality from Liam Brownhill. Yes, um, which it was wasn't ni- really there tonight, it, was it? No, it was no. nice to see, though, the fact that, you know, uh, Cheatham came across and took a free kick because they know he's got yeah. a good left foot on yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, I mean, I think Carl will probably be saying when he speaks to uh, speaks to Roy on the TV, he he'll, he'll probably, as a positive, he'll, that's what he'll say, I think. He'll say that uh, Scott Cheatham was a positive tonight. Mm. Uh, he had a decent enough game. Brian did point out though there was no really on the wing for him to having to deal with so but it made it a bit easier for him which is again you sometimes you well, need yeah, that because you don't play is, that yeah. many so that, yeah. his confidence will be up now I, because I, he's yeah. been warming the bench for such a length of time that will do his confidence the world of good Correct. but there was with full backs okay full backs have to do overlaps there wasn't that much overlapping going on on that last there, there, side there was, there, there was none tonight and he's probably, on, either, on either side yeah and it's probably out, he's playing out of position isn't he so he's just doing the the steady well, things, no, he right? Can, he, he, he can't play left back. He, we, yeah, we, he's it, played left back it, enough times. So he's, he's got, he's got the, he's got the pace. He reminded me of a midfielder who dropped a full back. Who's well, just quite doing, possibly, he's just yeah, doing the yeah. basics, which, right? Which, which he, if, he, if you put it down to the MTV, that's, yeah. that's what he is. Absolutely, no, I wouldn't argue. I think, but, I, I personally think just the the, 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 the lack of quality in front of goal, the lack of real quality on the ball this evening, and. The tempo of the game, again, was lacklustre in comparison to mm. what they want. They know that yeah. they've got three or four gears 
And Brian did mention something. I thought it was quite an interesting one. He said, you get on. "Is it easier? Is it easy? Is it easier for uh, when you go away from home because you can have the, the morning off? You get to travel on the bus, and therefore you're more relaxed when you come here opposed to the home team who've travelled because they've been working all day yeah, and they come together. Car, so yeah, it was an interesting yeah. one from a po- point from Brian. You know, I'm not necessarily Maybe. whether I agree or disagree, yeah. with, but it's an interesting point that. Um, uh, but tonight wasn't an interesting point. You know that was what, the problem. You know, it wasn't you know interesting. What, what worried me. Um, in that game two players I thought looked like they were dead on the feet one at the end of the game and one in the first half I thought Tom Greaves was blowing 20 minutes in and it was just surprised me because we commented on Tuesday night at Blythe and those two were back to the best they knew where each other was since then it's not it's not well weren't they just chasing shadows mainly tonight well, I think they're chasing shadows, balls, but weren't they? Oh, it's not my, my, my car being driven away. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, and then at the end, Chris Lynch, who I, did, I didn't think had a, I probably had his worst game since he, since he signed tonight. Well, so the one thing, one thing um, you know, you, at the end, he, he, he almost collapsed in a heap. Yeah. Well, the, you know. well, you notice as well tonight, you know, when we got the ball, certainly in the first half, the defenders are clearing it from their 18 yard area and they can move 10 or 15 yards mm. forward with it. And that's what we're not doing. Yeah. We're relying on that ball. And as you rightly say, if we are going to play a long ball or a, with purpose, it's put it out wide. Yeah, you can do it with purpose. Don't yeah. put it through because you can play any ball with purpose. You know, and tonight I just thought, and we're eight games in now. And I think from a fan's perspective, and I'm purely talking from a fan's perspective now. They're going to be disappointed. They're going to be. They're going to be hmm. a little bit frustrated because they're not seeing any real great. It's a, bit a moment of magic, you know, a little bit of skill, a little bit of trickery, something I've, that I've, ignites I've, the imagination. Flair. Flair. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I look at I look at the comments and sort of I agree with a lot, and some I disagree with a lot. But people are always entitled to opinion. Not probably that, but I've always tried to pick the positives in 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 matches, and say, well, actually, you know that I've got to say, Saturday and tonight, if I read various internet. Uh, Medium, shall we say? <laughs> um, and people are saying long ball, this long ball. For once, I'll, I'll, I'll be able to say, you know what? I agree, because that's to me how it was. I, I will agree that it, it was too much long ball in the first half, not enough quality, and like you say, eight games in, you think that should start to come. However, I do think, I do think, and I, I maybe Saturday, or Sunday, with, with a, a, a lower division club. For, yeah, Prescott. Somebody somewhere is in for a bit of a. If it clicks, you can see we we got the players to actually, you know, hold put that to the, to the sword. Hold that thought, radio listeners. Goodbye. You're about to leave us. We're going to raise hell. Ta-ra. So you know, somebody's got cables. Get put to the sword. Prescott so cables in for hiding. Uh, I, no, I didn't say that. No, don't spin it. I didn't say that. I said somebody oh, somewhere. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm kind of a <laughs> piss poor journalist. I'm allowed to. <laughs> Um, no, no, you're, you're not no. kind of. You are. A <laughs> journalist. Let's get it straight. Let's get it right. And a really average uh, producer um, <laughs> with some questionable musical tastes. Anyway, go on. Uh, I, listen, yeah. I mean, the FA Cup. It would be great as for us to go and tonk uh, Prescott Cables. I mean, for them, it will be this ground here. here. This it will is, be yeah, 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 like yeah. going to Gig Lane. It will be exactly the same for them. Correct. We have to be up for it. And I wouldn't want us to change that. I wouldn't want us to make wholesale changes. For a game against a team that... Uh, That's the uh, temptation though, isn't it? That's I don't think he will, to be honest with you. He may, he may make one or two, potentially, if players are coming back from injury or maybe give Conor Bauer a and, start. And that has, that's the question. He, he can't really make those changes, is it? Because we need we have a to, good game. We have, to have yeah. a good, we have to have a good game. I mean, we can't, this, this might sound yeah. ridiculous. Okay. There won't be as many young kids here tonight mm. watching the game. They'll be there on Sunday. Potential. And what young kids want, I mean, talking young, you know, seven, eight, mm. nine, ten of them, you know, they want to see entertainment. And that's what, the, that's for them, you know, that's what it's about. And FC United, win, lose or draw, all we've ever said is, we don't care if you win, lose or draw, it's the manner of the performance. My, my worry about Sunday is... It's very a, dark this is out there, oh, Hello. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is like it was at kick-off. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was. Perhaps, perhaps it would have been better to play <laughs> in the like dark it. tonight my with wor- a luminous ball. That would have been good, wouldn't my, it? My worry about Sunday is the, the players and the, and the manager. And you, you're on a high. It's a classic high into nothing because if you win, you're expected to win. And really, you should probably win potentially handsome. But I'm I don't, not saying I don't we will. think it is. If a you high. lose, no. But if you, yeah. if you lose, then it's like oh, so you, can, you, you can't really win that situation. You, we're just going to get the. Get, I think, like Swampy said, it's got to be a good performance. A good performance on Sunday should equal a couple of goals. Yes. All things being equal. And maybe things get onto an even keel and then onto our well, annual Tuesday night in Tuesday night in, 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 in Frickley, yeah. And, uh, you know, it's... I mean, the one thing we're not we're not conceding. 
We're difficult to beat. So that's yeah, obvious, yeah. you know. That's, that's we are we are very difficult to beat. That's that's a very, that's very very true. But I think I just really, I mean, me and Brian have obviously you know commentated for ninety minutes uh, and watched that game, and uh, it's it was it was a hard game to commentate on. It really was yeah, because yeah. you know you're trying to keep the enthusiasm. You don't want to you don't want to be and and you we, and we never pick out individual players or slag players off because that's not the way we do it here at uh, FC United or indeed we generally in football. He does, like you just said, he does. Uh, <laughs> that's why Brian's not talking at the moment, yeah. uh, but. Uh, I think really there's there's got to be there's got to be something that kickstarts the season. There's yeah. got to be there's got to be a game, and we can't afford it to be too late. I mean, you know, the other teams around us we're not too far away from them again. But you know, when you back, in, I mean, like, like we do, we're back in back in work tomorrow, and people ask us how you got on, yeah, and yeah. they go, and, and they know in advance because a lot of people do. Oh, another draw, another draw. I got, I got that on Monday. I know, <laughs> and, and that's yeah. what I'll get tomorrow. Yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. Another nil nil. Yeah, you know, and people are looking forward to actually, you know, at least seeing some goals. We were talking of, uh, again. We had a really good discussion at half time. One of the things that was brought up, and I, I was asked, was how many games? And I, I've seen, only seen two games outside, both at Curzon, Curzon Marine, Curzon Workington. Wayne obviously does a lot of more scouting in the Midlands. He's, he's yeah, of course. More yeah, games. yeah. Because um, he's not he's not come to a lot of the night away games. He's gone scouting then. And the question was. The league this year, the, the, the Stuart Germany was asking, and he said, I've not seen a team play FC who stood out. I've not seen a player who very often go, he's a hell of a player. That's because... Is, is, is the standard of the league not quite as high this year? So it's, there, it's still there for ticket because nobody's running away with it. it, was so, it was we're, some, we're still unbeaten, on, but we're, we're not winning. Hang on, it was but, something we picked up upon a while... Uh, picked a, up upon? Picked up upon a couple of weeks ba, 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 ago. Ba, 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 All the teams we've played and drew against... I've all been in the lower half of the table. And I know it's early days into yeah, the season, the but are, those those teams are teams who you'd expect to be that. If you talk about Barwell, Belper, Ramsbottom, even Matlock perhaps. Ramsbottom are better than that, to be fair. But, yeah. but they're, all lower, they're all mid to lower half I teams, think, I think, you'd, uh, you'd think on paper. Yeah, I, I, think, I think what we've got this season is there's an expectation. Uh, it doesn't necessarily come from, from uh, within... The, the dressing room but, and the management but there's an external, ex- there is an external uh, hmm. uh, feeling that FC United are the team that this season on paper have to win the, well, should be winning the division um, saying whether they will or not is a completely de- different kettle of fish um, there are some very good teams out there I don't think uh, you know, hmm. um, you know the Sta- the, the Sour Bridges of this world. You know the Ilkstons Scam. are scoring, and the Scam are doing very, very well. They've got a tough game against um, Ratcliffe Borough under nines, I think, on <laughs> uh, on, on on Saturday. Uh, but it's um, what what we're looking for, and I think the one thing we've always I'm going to say again, we look for a little bit of quality, a little bit of flair, a little bit of something in the game that we can at least go home and talk. We can talk about uh, two great saves from a goalkeeper. But with that exception, we can say, basically, as you said, the, flood, the floodlights yeah. could have stayed off tonight. We could have played with a luminous ball and uh, it would, the quality would have been as good from both teams. Because I was, I was disappointed, in fact, with Matlock mm. tonight because I thought they have a little bit more about them. You know, he set his team up well, but the, they didn't really show it a great deal of quality or, or flair. They'll be a lot happier with the point than I think we will be because we're at home and, mm. and, and yeah. that's what you always oh, would yeah, say. Absolutely. And um, they are because I, I saw it down in the But you've got to be better. We've got to improve, um, you know, and I know... They'll be looking to do that. They're looking at you know bringing players in all the time and looking at you know quality. People will say though, you know, we're lacking flair. Well, we've let go Motta. This is this is what people are saying. I I think the Motta thing was right because he's a twenty-minute player for me. He's not he's not a player that's going to come set the, the, the game on fire all the way through. But sometimes that twenty minutes is what you need from a player. You know, we've we've never really replaced the likes of Carlos Rocker. And whether we, whether you loved him or didn't. He always brought something to the game. He Correct. always was attacking going forward. And as I say, on Sunday, there'll be a lot of young children here. And they want heroes. Kids want heroes. And, you know, they can't, they can't be set up half ordinary for young kids when they come and watching. They love the likes of Rocker. They love the likes of Motta. They love the likes of uh, attacking style players, Rory Patterson. And there's plenty of players. Greg Daniels is that potential to be that, the kids' favourite in this season. For me, whether or not he was injured, and that's why he's not starting tonight, I would have... Because he came on and he, and he did cheat. There was a spark. There yeah, was a bit of quality. Yeah, there was. You could. And, you so, know, yeah. for me, getting fit, he's in the team week in, week out at this moment in time because of the way we need that extra little bit of something. And he does create that. Um, the likes of Byrne, I think you've got to make sure that Byrne is either protected 
or you play him a bit higher up the pitch so he can actually distribute the ball. Higher up the pitch, definitely. You can't, yeah, keep him, you can't keep him in that midfield role there without protection because tonight they're trying to nullify we saw that. We saw that a few times by the end of the season. Teams were, were standing on his toes, Ashton away on Boxing Day. Yeah. It was a perfect example. He didn't get a kick in the whole time he was on the pitch because he was stood like that and there was no room for him whatsoever. So. And if, and if we're not going to do that, you can't play him. Correct. Tonight yeah. I thought he was our best player. I thought, so well tonight. We, I thought he was our, the ball, yeah. I thought yeah. he was our best player because basically he, he he had a bit about him and he wanted a, in, in a very in a, in a very average poor performance from FC United. We're he gonna, was our best player. I I'm going to give the last word to Brian because Brian's been an inspiration to us all this evening. Brian's always an inspiration. Brian, to us. the closing thoughts for episode three of is one that, more. Is that a poo bag you've got in your pocket? Is, yes. <laughs> Look at that. Can't go anywhere without. Oh goodness yeah. gracious! Well, is, that, is that in case you got, it always be an incontinent pad, isn't it? In <laughs> the last thought of episode three of one more cup of coffee. Oh, I should cocoa, whatever you lot at home want to call it. Comment section we, below, by yeah, the way. Yes. Brian, last thoughts to you. I thought it was a great track, one more cup of coffee, on a great album. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's it. Well, what about the football? <laughs> <laughs> I think that says everything he needs to say about the game. And on I, that I think note, Brian's already forgotten about tonight. <laughs> and on that note, it's probably time to go. Thanks to Stephen Wood here. Yeah. Nice. Thank you to Swampy. Yes. Woodso is his other name, by the yeah. way. No, 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 no. And, uh, apparently thanks likes to Brian. James, I've heard. I'm not quite sure how true that is, but apparently likes James and Pies. We're going to go Some now pies. before the power's cut totally at Boafold. Um, so um, from everyone here, goodbye. Take care. Wave, kids. Evening. Oh, Brian, wave. Come on, Come on Brian. It's a family show. It's like the clamp is awesome. Oh, and now it's said to get a good bag. Yeah, they're not our friends. Relax, thank you.